some Red Dead Redemption 2. It's such a great game. I'm really enjoying it. And once again, I'm going to try not to yap and such while we're talking to the non-PCs and getting the story. Because we're watching a movie, fellas, you know what I mean? This is ain't a game. <laughs> for something, you know, get comfortable while we're playing, in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. <coughs> when we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. If needs be, we can eat you. You're the you fattest. I, mean, I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found <laughs> enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. Blue. You're going to need something to eat out there. Assorted salted offal. Starving will be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look at this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come on. Nice. <coughs> yeah. You take this. Oh, this love me some archery. To... Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. Yeah, my little Never bro used to. to... I imagine. Sure, a bow and arrows. Right. Grandpa Let's each gave out. us a bow and some arrows. Big mistake. <laughs> it is a different time, though, fellas. How are you holding up, Charles? I'm okay. Apart from this hand. Stupid mistake. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. Uh, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. <laughs> so, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't no drisky? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's just off a bit, they'll be needing to see. We'll head up this way, find some higher ground. Whew! Been here all three days, all right. We're out north of Blackwater. We're stuck in the storm. We're going to back in. We've got a black water. I wish I could have done more.
And sometimes the cutscenes throw me off, I get so comfortable, and then I'm like, oh, I'm in control of a moving horse now. <laughs> I uh, see how I was saying that uh, I wasn't able to skin the animals. So I think old Charles here is going to teach the me how the, down too. the ways good. of the wild. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. No shit. So not everyone Stay knows quiet. everything. Like, I don't even know how to control this freaking horse. <laughs> you always got to have someone to teach you. Something you don't know. You should always be willing to learn new things, you know what I mean, fellas? Hey, stop here a second. I see something. Whoa. You'll probably see lots of just episodes of me hunting because it's my favorite thing to do in this game. There's deer been here. Recently, how can you tell? How can you not? You track them on foot. You're gonna need the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. A gun will scare everything around. I just stood there a bunch and got lost, so we kind of just did a little bit of a time skip. <laughs> Sorry about that. I don't know what the heck I was doing. It's all a learning process, you know what I mean, fellas? This game is also one of the few games that I don't feel the need to put mods on it because I like all, how all the gameplay works. I might maybe add some new weapons, but I really don't feel the need for it. There's plenty of guns and such. Well done. I think that's all we can carry. Okay, you pick up one, I'll get the other. You sure you love that you have okay? to carry your game out. And that's great. Some of the big stuff like bears and boars, I remember you just kind of chop it up there because you can you get home a whole bear. <laughs> My old horse up here to carry this thing for me. Oh, this actually simple thing just makes a great dynamic in this game of being able to carry okay, stuff on your horse. You see hunters and stuff when you're riding around in the wilds. Have like some game on the back of the horse, which is really cool to see. Yeah. It's like a lot of the things that you can do, like hey, the chores hey, and everything, you also means that you know not be seas out in the world. They're doing that, which I think is really cool. I'm a big fan of like idle animations and Skyrim and stuff. Not be seas doing different things. Careful. Yeah. <laughs> nice work, Arthur. Should be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. You found him. <laughs> I knew you'd be okay with that bow. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> I've seen enough of that. Considering how things were in a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck's finally on the turn. 
Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak. Have well, you seen how snowed in those wagons are? They ain't going nowhere Don't until we get some more salt. Yeah. You're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what that? We still have a big price on our heads. Uh, this is a big country. We'll find some in line, though. Dutch and Jose I do have a little system maintenance in the middle of my playthrough. <laughs> Come on, we gotta stick together. You notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwall? We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. But though we caught more than one, a lot of mouths to feed. That girl's in the ranch now, too. But not sure she be eating much. She has a wild looking one. You would too. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. Let me show you a little. There's a lifetime of practice to master. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. You'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. I'll get to skin you. <coughs> you always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. You should raise the top of man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skin that one, you just dumped on the floor. Go on, Arthur. Come on, get that knife working. Sorry, fellas. Drop my controller. Yep, I've been playing on PC with controller and my heretic. I don't care. <laughs> Sell these in pretty much any town. I don't even care about GTA 6. Don't want to make a money, of course. <laughs> right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain. A Love me some westerns. Well, you know what I mean, you catch fellas? anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. Yeah. Well, we're on the run now. All right, see you, fellas. Survive. Make the goods too. Folk need it. A few days. Hey, fellas, that's the rest of my video. I hope you're really enjoying this playthrough of Red Dead Redemption 2. I think it's such an excellent game, and I hope you guys are enjoying the story as much as I am. And I hope you keep your uh, shield arm strong and you have a good game next time because it's really important to me that you guys are having fun in this dreary, dreary world we live in.